Hello, everybody. Yeah, it's time for another uh, BTS uh, BTS vlog. And uh, this is about uh, uh, what's going on with the various different labs that I'm working on. Uh, there's a new quantum physics lab that's sort of scheduled to, to begin operations in uh, November, December. There, from that lab, uh, we'll be doing uh, nanotech and material science. And here's where the bizarre part actually comes in because we can connect nanotech and a lot of other different sciences, particularly with quantum physics, into a lot of different areas. I'll give you an example the kitchen diner. That seems like just an ordinary, well, it's a cooking show, right? It's about cooking. Well, no, it's not actually about cooking. It's actually about organic chemistry uh, and the organic chemistry of food and how organic chemistry actually works within our body, particularly the food as it comes into our body. Uh, it goes to an organic chemical process and produces us. Uh, and this can be applied to all of life. It can be uh, applied to any um, hydrocarbon. Note that includes oil, gas, coal, um, plastics, uh, and as you get into these different uh, uh, materials, you get into material science. And it, of course, some of these, si these materials, uh, particularly the plastics, have electrical properties that can lead you into nanotech and into quantum physics. So the areas, while they may seem disconnected, actually do connect together. There is a larger puzzle here as we put the different pieces together. And so th this is where we end up in a lot of different areas. And let's give you an, a, an odd area example, uh, which, is produces, which will extend our example here. Uh, recently, if you're following uh, on Twitter, because I, I, I Twitter I, uh, a lot of my uh, YouTube activity is, is tweeted out, and is out on Facebook, and people ask, well, what's going on? Why is he looking at Vocaloids? Why is he looking at this uh, Japanese stuff? Well. It has to do with the fact that uh, Vocaloids uh, are a computer animation thing uh, where the voice is produced in the computer. This is computer-generated voices, this is computer-generated art, and that involves uh, not only a, a Linux system in terms of a, 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 like, a, like the Android, but an entire Linux network. So if you're into networking, into computer science, one of the directions, particularly if you're going into robotics and you're going into cybernetics, uh, Vocaloids is the way you're going to go. If I want to give a voice to Cyborg Alpha, then Vocaloids is where you want to go. That's where the stuff is. So, everything I do on here does have a particular purpose. So it does eventually connect back to the research. Uh, and it's just a matter of sometimes it's, sometimes it's not always that obvious. Sometimes the connection isn't initially obvious. But you do have to, in some cases, put it into the library. And you'll see, as the stuff grows, as, it, as, as um, the Research Institute uh, structures and then restructures again, you'll start seeing the connections more and more to the different areas that are being worked on. Anyways, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow for the BTS vlog and bring you more updates. All right, take it easy.